Windows 10 has raised a lot of privacy concerns for a lot of people since its release. Because of this, some people have decided to either block the included spy tools or stick with Windows 7 or Windows 8. The problem is, Microsoft has decided to backport some of these spy tools to both of those versions and do everything they can to get you to upgrade. Today, let's see if we can fix that. In this video, I wanna try and accomplish two things. The first is to remove or avoid any updates to Windows 7 and Windows 8 that will either nag you into Windows 10 or prepare your system for the unwanted upgrade. The second is to remove or avoid any updates that will add some of the Windows 10 telemetry or spy tools that Microsoft has decided to port to Windows 7. Now, from what I have found, Microsoft has only ported a small amount of the data collection tools found in Windows 10. This is probably due to the lack of Cortana in previous versions, alongside of some of the other improvements that Windows 10 has. Because of this, I feel like they're not as intrusive as their bigger brother, but they're still worth removing if you don't want your PC calling home all the time. Okay, the first round I have revolves around system updates that prepare your Windows 7 or 8 PC for Windows 10 and or nags you into upgrading. Don't worry, I will make sure to include a list of these when we get to the removal part. And if you are searching for them as we go along in your list of updates, either installed or not, and you don't find them, make sure to remember that some of these are for Windows 7, some are for Windows 8, and some are for both. Starting off, we have the big updates that will nag you into upgrading and prepares your system for the install. You may be familiar with those nifty little pop-ups you get from time to time. These updates include KB3035583, KB2952664, KB2976978, and KB3014460. Again, some of these are for seven and some are for eight, but they will all revolve around getting you prepared for the upgrade and then ask you to do it over and over again. Following up on these, we have updates KB2990214, KB3044374, and KB3050267, that makes more changes to your system in preparation for Windows 10. Then we have KB2977759, which not only prepares your system for an upgrade, but also adds in some telemetry to report back to Microsoft about your computer. And KB3021917 is kind of the same idea, except this time it's reporting whether or not your computer will be able to handle the upgrade at all. I should note here that those last two updates are tied directly with the Windows Customer Experience Improvement Program that you can opt out of through your control panel. As far as I know, if you have opted out of this program, then you should not see these updates at all. If you want to check, you can go to your control panel, System and Security, Action Center, and on the left panel, click on Change Action Center Settings. Now at the bottom of this page, under Related Settings, you will see a link for the Customer Experience Improvement Program settings. Go ahead and click it. In that pop-up, just make sure it's set to No. Now, two of the bigger updates that add in tracking and reporting software include KB3022345 and KB3068708. These are probably the most intrusive updates, while a few other ones like KB3015249, KB3075249, and KB3080149 adds telemetry to track things related to the UAC prompts and decisions. During my research on these updates, I did find a lot of different websites that have different lists of Windows updates to avoid. But after digging into them, I found that some of them actually serve more of a fix to an issue than the cause one. So I decided not to include them all here. Now it's time to actually remove and avoid these updates at all costs. I will go ahead and put a list of them both here on the screen while in the description to help you along the way. Before you do anything though, you might want to make sure that your updates are not set to automatic for obvious reasons. So go ahead and get into your control panel and navigate to the programs and feature and uninstall a program. On the left hand side, click on view installed updates. After this loads up, you can search for the specific update by typing it into the search bar on the top right. Make sure to include the KB in front of the number. If you do find one of these updates installed on your computer, simply right click on it and select yes from the pop-up. Follow this search and installation process until you make it through the list. You may need to pause this video. 
Okay, now that you have updates uninstalled and possibly had to reboot your computer, now we need to make sure that they don't come back again. To do this, get into your update screen and search for new updates. After it's done doing its search, assuming your computer is fully up to date with the exclusion of the newly removed ones, you should now see a list of the available Spyro updates under the Options tab. To keep these from sneaking into future updates, simply hold the control key and select each one individually or highlight a bunch of them with your mouse. Once you have them selected, right click on one of them and choose hide updates. They should now turn a little grayer than the other ones and the next time you search for available updates, they actually won't show up at all. Congratulations, you have just reclaimed a little bit of your privacy back from Microsoft and took a big step in avoiding Windows 10 altogether. Viva Revolution! Lucian, Re revolution, Revol whatever. If I missed anything or said anything wrong, tell me about it in the comments. And as usual, make sure to click the like and subscribe.